A drink with Brink on a Tuesday. On a Tuesday. That's weird. Yes, that's weird. It's an extra episode because, uh, I don't know, man. It's uh, There are too many awesome people with campaigns right now. And I want to give them all um, a platform, right? I want to help everyone and talk with indie creators about their books and their lives and the campaigns. Because, uh, frankly, I am done with corporate comics. I'm done with the mainstream they kind of suck. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, indie comics is where the passion is, guys, where the talent is. Whew. So uh, um, I hope you're all having a great day. Um, my day is, uh, is my days are so busy, guys. I'm, I'm doing uh, this in between. Meanwhile, I'm still uh, fulfilling Perfect 10 Issue 3. And I'm running a Kickstarter campaign for American Bliss. Kickstarter can pay for American Bliss because American Bliss was on Indiegogo for 30 days and Indiegogo was acting goofy and they shadow banned the campaign for no reason. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, so I was like, okay, after 30 days, I, I ended it and the next 30 days are now on uh, Kickstarter. So all the unlocked stretch goals from Indiegogo are carried over. So if you're back on Kickstarter, you will get those extras also. Phew. Okay, guys, uh, let's see who is with us today. A lot of awesome people. I saw awesome people like Marvi. Greeting sinners. Hello, Marvi. Nice to see you, sir. And we have Anvil Comics. Welcome, Anvil Comics. How are you doing? And we have the Ice Queen. Ice Queen. Hello, Ice Queen. Hello, hello. Uh, well said, D. Oh, thank you very much. I don't know what it was that I said, but I appreciate it. And this is my cat, Thibaut. My cat is very, um, very naughty today. So, yeah, I hope he leaves me alone. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys, let's um, bring up our guests. I have two guests. So some of you thought, hey, I have one guest. No, I have two guests because surprise. Uh, it was a surprise extra guest, which is awesome. So let's just bring him on and, and talk about their excellent book. Uh, welcome to the show. I hope I get the names right. Uh, I've got the second name. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Jacob and Dylan. Woo! And we're here. <laughs> <laughs> what an intro! Yeah, I it was Dylan, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, I didn't realize we were doing uh, our actual names. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, it was a surprise to me also, and I, I, I didn't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> all, all right, it all worked out in the end, and that's important. Yes. that's the important part. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Thank you for having us on. That's amazing. Yeah, you're welcome, man. You've been on, on the show before. Uh, yes, I yes. think almost I've... exactly one year ago. 
Yeah, it was a year ago, and uh, I think that was Obsidian or Vestry 4? No, no, I'm actually not sure. Vestry 4. Was it Vestry 4? Man, yes. so, so hey, it took us a year to do an issue. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, like, the seriously said complete. they did Obsidian. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, right, I did is... make uh, one more book, you know, in between. So uh, that's, oh, you that's did. my kind of saving grace. We did. Okay, uh, before we start, uh, this this is the question I need uh, to ask before we begin. What are you guys drinking? I have a lovely stale cup of coffee. Right. I have got a lovely Yorkshire tea. Tea, of course. Um, there is whiskey. I might end up drinking that, but mm -hmm. <laughs> for now, it's Yorkshire it depends tea. Depends how yes. the evening goes. Right. Yes, depends on this uh, on, on this interview, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, okay, guys. Um, so, 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 how did you two meet up to to do a project together? That's uh, so it's a weird one. Um, it was basically uh, Shabby was practicing his drawing, um, mm. and he had agreed to basically doing issue one with someone else. It weren't, it weren't exactly drawn at the time, uh, but Shabby didn't like the way that one was going. Um, and obviously I knew him from, you know, being a comic person, I already knew him and we've been friendly for a couple of years by that point. And they just said, hey, I'll help you out. <laughs> and uh, how many years later and we're still doing this? Right. I'm putting in your your pickles name. W one sec. I'm putting in the pickles name. Save and now we have this right there. We go. There we go, guys. Right. Okay. So you so you kind of knew uh, knew each other. Yeah. Yes, well, we were we were friendly before, and I was mm -hmm. just you know you know like I heard the best advice for any artist if you want to learn how to draw comics is draw comics right. You yes, know, So I did my anatomy stuff. I did all of that. And mm -hmm. I was like, I think I'm ready. I just yeah. needed a story. So I went on some Facebook groups, you know, find a couple of people. Uh, I, I came up with a story on my own. and okay. But it was most, more like a just a plot line. And mm -hmm. some people developed it. And I drew it, actually. I think I drew, actually, two issues that never seen the light of day. Uh, because I was like, eh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that. I didn't like the art and nor the story. And then I was like, you know, trying to find someone else. And what do you know? Pickles uh, came up. <laughs> he was like, "Hey, I might, well, you know, try <laughs> try this." Well, I said, so I said to, me, I wrote him yeah, an ash cam. Um, yeah, I said, uh, if, you like, if, you, "If you like the, if you like the the look of that, the the way the way you read it, then I can help you do the dialogue and issue one and some narration and stuff." And okay. uh, help him with plotting for the future uh and he liked it i did that and then he was like hey write me <laughs> write me a shoe too and then it was uh and then it just went into world building after that and like mm. i said we've just been at it for years now and it was vestry yeah that was vestry yeah all right yeah so um, i was kind of like we, two years ahead of him you know <laughs> yeah we uh we do ash cans that's why uh I wrote a short story for him. It was a an Ashcan called Vodnik that I wrote. Uh, I even know. Uh, Vodnik. Vodnik. Yeah. Right. Okay. It, it's a European. It's a Czech folklore kind of All right. uh, monster. I never, I never heard of it before. Yeah. Uh, Pixel Trader, welcome. Welcome, welcome, and we have Mike. Hello, Dave, Thibault, and guests. Let's find out about Vestry. Yes, <laughs> Vestry. So, so uh, uh, Vestry is the project you you made together. Did you do uh, do any other books together or projects? We did uh, uh, a horror story together mm -hmm. uh, during uh, the lockdowns. Um, mm -hmm. Me and a, a bunch yeah, of uh, so comic creators thought we would do like these short comic stories and put them out for free for people. Uh, and our, we did a short, horror, horror, a short horror story. It was called Ritual. Mm -hmm. um, that was that was very. Um, how would you describe it? Shall we? It was very uh, cosmic horror. That one. Yeah, because Pickles mm -hmm. does like his cosmic horror. 
Uh, so so th this was <laughs> his, <laughs> his uh, kind of like opportunity to express himself a little bit. Right. Uh, so we did right. that. But outside of that, I think, yeah, we've done yeah, it's only just, vestry. It's just, yeah, it's mainly been vestry um, and the ash cans. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so Jacob, you drew the the Cosmic Horror comic also, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so was I that think... that very different? Uh, because it, it's a completely different um, a genre. Yeah, it's a very yeah, different yeah. genre. Yeah, it was more it, it was, was more like a real life modern day kind of thing. But it was uh, yeah. a guy storm, just basically stumbles across a, a cult in the forest. <laughs> right. Uh. It was a ten right. pager, so it was kind of like really quick, and you had mm -hmm. to put lots of horror in, so uh, it was definitely fun. Uh, mm -hmm. Horror is a little bit little bit different uh, way to draw, but I right. think I actually learned a lot and took these elements and brought them in the main book, you know, and definitely it got kind of like more horror-esque or scary uh, after that, I think. Right, right. Great. Um, Dark Side is comics, welcome. Welcome, man. Guys, Darkseid is comics has his own uh, YouTube channel with daily comic book reviews. So uh, subscribe. Uh, Marvi says, uh, you have to go to fund my comic and do a campaign there. I'll be there. I actually wanted to do that, Marv. Uh, I wanted to do American Bliss on fund my comic, but it wasn't ready yet. So I, I put it on Kickstarter. And I, I actually was the first backer on fund my comic for one of the running campaigns right now because you need to support what you want to succeed guys and, and we need this alternative platform all right all right guys uh so um my my pickle so so what got you into into writing <laughs> um, a weird question it is actually because originally i had no intention of being a writer okay um, I was just used to hang around with a bunch of comic guys, you know, like Jakob and some some other people. Oh, you um, know Jakob is and and and, uh, and uh, the bargain bin crew. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, and basically, exactly. um, I basically I saw him struggling uh, finding a writer to help him, so mm -hmm. I said to him, and that was basically me say, I I thought I I want to help out a friend, basically. Mm -hmm. right. I said to him. I'll write this short. I'll write a short story for you to see how my skills are as a writer. Is um, like sure. it. You can use. We can do something with that, and it did. And I just did, started enjoying it. <laughs> as right. I was, yes, as 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 I was writing the article, I was like, "Oh, this is actually pretty fun." <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a way for yourself to find out if you're even capable of of doing it, right? Yeah, and um. As these comics go on, Shabby would tell you it's it's a, it's a lot of practice that goes into each issue. You know, we we uh, develop mm -hmm. each right. issue with his art and with my writing as well. Sure. Uh, yeah. So it was it's fun developing. So so through the years, if you look back on your earlier material, uh, what kind of things are you doing better now? Um, I guess. Uh, Pacing, I would say. Um, mm -hmm. right. I think as well, because in issue three, um, there was a lot of action in there. <laughs> and then I'm basically just formatting it all, really. I've gotten more, more of the hang of that. Um, and just basically, I, I, I'm a bit more, I'm, I'm better at just, you know, generalizing what I want from each panel as well. Sure. Right, right. Excellent. Okay, so 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 um, when you write, you basically write together, right? Because um, Jacob, this is your concept initially, yeah. right? So well, so you build. <laughs> no, um, we do talk about. I, I basically, I write a script, mm -hmm. and we basically go through it together. Because um, during issue one, afterwards. Um, I basically started doing the world building and the characteristics of each character, mm -hmm. um, right? Yes. And that's so basically we it's a constant dialogue between us. I write a script and we say, oh, "What can we change about this? Does this suit that character?" You know that kind yeah. of thing. Would would this look more cool in this sense than this? Mm -hmm. 
Shabby and Sh Sh if Shabby thinks I've gone a bit yeah. too far with uh, with a uh, with a lot of the violence, it would say, maybe oh, really? don't do that. <laughs> too violent, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes Jacob, you, you don't I, like I violence. Say, uh, I do, but he he goes way too grotesque, you know. And I'm like, <laughs> that's some stuff I don't want to draw necessarily. Mm. <laughs> Uh, right. It's it's interesting because definitely uh, Pickles has trouble with me because I'm I'm kind of uh, you know opinionated when it comes to this and I throw him some ideas and on some mm -hmm. of them I'm really real firm that I do want them in and I'm like I want this 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 you you figure it out you write the script right and sure. then then he okay. writes the script you know pours hours into it and I'm like. I don't like how you did that, man. Let's let's try something else, right? So <laughs> you must be going mental over over my antics. But I think this kind of back and forth actually shapes the book into much much better product than it would right. if it would be just one of us. Yeah, if All we right. if we agreed to each other's things without mm -hmm. expressing what each of us want out of the book, then mm -hmm. you know it's not gonna it's, I, I don't think it would work well. You know, if you right. think something's better, but you just say, yeah, okay. You know, instead sure. of yeah. putting your point across. But it can also mean maybe sometimes that you have to sacrifice certain ideas that you really liked, right? Well, yeah. Um, but we do talk about that and we decide if it would be for the greater good mm -hmm. for the story. Right. Yes. Yes. Everything you do is, is in service of the book right mm -hmm. so yeah. yeah right so so what is your target audience uh, jacob if if you don't want yeah. to do too much violence right it's not too much violence uh, i think <laughs> it's, <laughs> the, it's the context like, of the violence right. yeah. <laughs> yeah i think i think we had like a guy that was kind of like hung from uh the ceiling with his guts spilling out and like mm. I, I think maybe some rats were eating it at, at some point just really grotesque, grotesque stuff, yeah. right? So I just drew him kind of like we, with his head caved in instead. And I thought, we had to, like, um, that's good enough, right? We had to so, water down a torture part as yeah. well. Um, because mm. I had it so like, how do I say this without coming off as a weirdo? Um, <laughs> basically, yeah, as a torture method to get this, this guy to speak, uh, he was called Alimandum. Uh, we had a character basically cut his eyelids off and basically wow. get a healing potion to pour it into his eyes, which will have hurt, if, hurt him even more in the eyes, but also grow his eyelids back and repeat, you know, just keep doing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, and Yaku went, no, no. <laughs> All right. That, that, that was the line. No. Yeah. yeah. So, so where are you, where are you this? Appointed sometimes where you got art back and was like like a little bit censored or or not as gratuitous as you wanted it. Um, in in, the, in different aspects, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, this is know. interesting. Stuff stuff will come out now. Oh, look at that. No, no, no. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Um, I'm so glad you brought him on, Jacob. <laughs> when we were doing oh, yeah. issue one, this wasn't Shabby's idea or anything. It, uh, we were told. Um, because we had a slight bit of nudity in one panel mm -hmm. uh, that, you know, it's, it's, it wouldn't appeal to a younger audience. Right. So we we got, I guess you could call censored or a bit of advice mm -hmm. um, on that end. So we, we covered that up. Um, mm -hmm. And as the issues go on, it's basically Jakob saying, you can't do that, Pickles. You know, that's going to make me vomit. <laughs> Right. Um, it's, it's right. stuff like that. It's, it's it's funny when he says it, though. I think he corrupted <laughs> me a bit because now when I think of issue five, we actually do have nudity and do have some pretty gratuitous violence. Yeah, yeah. So yeah you got used to it, corrupted. right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Slowly, slowly he got you there. I slowly got my way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> One you finally got the book you wanted. Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, so 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 after this, this is the final issue, right? So the Absolutely. story is completely yeah, done. It's the, it's the it's the final issue of volume one. Mm -hmm. um, 
we we might come back for a volume two, but for volume one, yeah, this is the finale. Yeah. All right. So you can read it one through five. You you get like complete story. You know nothing. Nothing yeah. is left on the table. Uh, yeah, it's really satisfying for the reader, I think. Uh, so yeah, that's like the complete complete book. Okay, let's let's show people the page, uh, guys. Um, the link to this campaign is pinned in the chat. It's also in the description of the video. Please go check it out. Um, it has nine days to go. You made your uh, your goal, right? Or didn't no, you? Uh, oh, no, not yet. Sixty dollars off. I think Sixty we got dollars away. We we got a refund today. <laughs> Someone who oh, just cancelled no. the order. What whatever it is for Kickstarter. I don't know the rules. I think that, that that happens more often with Kickstarter, right? Yeah, probably. Um, yeah. yeah, we so it was on thirty-seven backers earlier. Now it's on thirty-six. Yes. Yes. So that's, we, that's we need why, some uh, I, we need some some handsome devil to help us. Exactly. The next backer will be a, a handsome devil. So who will it be? <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's let's get this this over the finish line. Uh, you have 36 backers now. You have nine days to go, so you can easily make this right. This this is not a problem at all. You don't have a video. Usually, I, I show people the video, but you don't have one here. Um, that's fine. We can we can go through it, right? So so uh, Jacob, can you tell us what the the concept is? Right. So. A little bit spoiler of issue four, uh, just to kind of get you in the context. Uh, in the last issue, we've seen our hero. Who, concept of the story is a barbarian finds uh, this mysterious crystal that connects him with a ghost of elven princess, right? Mm -hmm. She gives him magical powers, but also paints a large target on his back. He tries to kind of figure stuff around, you know, <laughs> tries to basically survive because he's been hunted by very powerful people. Uh, and who, 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 what do you know? All the strings lead to actually father of the elven princess, who's been for God knows how plotting this terrible deed of, you know, kind of corrupting Earth and opening this portal into this uh, dimension with great evil that hides within uh, right and in the latest issue we've seen uh, our hero being defeated he's been actually stabbed in the gut and his powerful crystal was taken away and now mm -hmm. we find him exactly when the last issue left off you know he's being nursed uh, nursed slowly but he does have to get the crystal back so he can heal himself and potentially save the world so he does now have to do this crazy quest uh, and it's like fighting against time you know just to <laughs> just to basically get there and fight against crazy odds to hopefully you know get the crystal and defeat uh, defeat the main bad guy but that might not be as easy as <laughs> as it sounds. Right. So 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 pickles. When you when you got this, when you uh, when uh, Jacob told you about his concept, he gave you bits and and pieces of his ideas. You were like, how the hell am I going to make a <laughs> a current story from this? Or, or or was it not that that bit of a challenge? Um, I don't think it was that bit of a challenge because. Mm. Um, how would you how would you just how would you say it? It's um it's it's a new world. So I became like the you know you what would you call it an official world builder if you if you will. Right. I yeah. I kind of come up with my own lore like I type it down. So I made I you know I made the rules of what happens and what can't happen. So it's pretty much I just go off from what happened in issue one basically and see what i can add to it <laughs> so it's not as it's not as hard as what um people might think it is right but the the the, the story beats were set right so you knew the beginning you knew what needed to happen and you knew how it would end <laughs> um no okay Basi basically uh me and shabby just talked to through what we wanted basically mm -hmm. 
Uh, and when I introduced characters, we would just decide what role they would play. And and obviously, when we did issue one, we was like, okay, how do we end this? Mm -hmm. uh, so we had that conversation together. So there was there was no like I said, there was no real issues with it. Like we we both like knew what we wanted from the characters. And the main bad guy, I think I, I created the main bad guy in this to, so we could, um, you know, to, like I said, it was to further the story. Um, so the main bad guy was, you know, my idea was to create it so he was connected to this elven princess. <laughs> um, but like I said, was this him? yeah, yeah, yes. that is, that is Arius. Arius, okay. And he's, he was king of the elves before the humans invaded and nearly wiped them until extinction. Right. Right. I'm fascinated by this process of people working together and, and, and creating something, you know, because some something starts with a small idea and other people are brought yeah. on and things grow and it, it's just well, marvelous, man. I, I saw I saw I would see bits in issue one, like there was an invasion in issue mm -hmm. one. And I'd get that and about like, how do I how would I connect that to this? Yeah. Um and you know, we talk it through basically. And, and what I really like, <laughs> yeah, what, what I really like is it, it has these like thematic beats uh yes. that actually connect it, it quite well. It's it's kind of like almost like rhyme, but art wise, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, that it's like a visual payoff almost, you know, um, which if you read, you know, issue two, you'll see, you know, these elves protecting humans. And th then that kind of goes away. But now, you know, it's like one elf protecting one human or uh, just kind of goes back to the way it used to be. Um, and it, in a really nice, nice way as well. Uh, and then it's kind of like mixed in with, with this father-daughter um, relationship. I don't want to give away too much, but yeah, uh, yeah, because we really wrote some actual bangers of a scene <laughs> where where it kind of goes. <laughs> yes, oh, yes, yeah, that's, that's so, great, right? So when, when like, you write something, I was, I was drawing it, you know. Yeah, and I was impressed. Yeah, when yeah, you yeah. write something and you just know this is good, right? That's 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 exciting. So, so what's the what's the deal with these characters? These what's their their relationship? These two. Am I, am I answering? Are you, yeah. uh, Jacob? Okay. You, you so the, you, you the, the, the the guy with the torch is our is our main character. <laughs> he's called Damon. He's a barbarian. You know, he's a bounty hunter, and he was mm -hmm. sent to the island of Omridel, uh to to basically clear out the castle that had been abandoned by the elves, which he has a connection to. He didn't want to go back there, but the, the gold was too much. Um, now, as the story progresses, he had found out that the king, that he, you know, he invaded the the island to, to you know, kill, to obliterate them all. Right. He did not die, and he is back, and he is working with... You know, he's working with a thing that we call the Abyss, which is our, you know, our, I guess you would say the ultra baddie, <laughs> more than anything. And so what our, our character has to do now is find a way to actually stop Arius. And at this moment in time, as Jakob had said, he had been defeated. Uh, so as you can see, he has, he's got his bandage in around his waist to keep his guts in. And he has to find a mount to find this uh, to, to find the king to catch up in time before he uh, unleashes the great evil into the world. All right. And this character next to him, she is the lovely Medea. Fun fact, though, um, Jakob, Jakob uh, created this character uh, in a previous story. Like we called it an issue zero. It's unreleased. <laughs> And I I used to practice my I guess you could say I could practice my colours on them at that point because I I used to go to university, um so I was like okay I'll just practice doing this, um and I 
I made her white <laughs> when she was meant to be uh, of, of that, uh, you know, be like that. Um, yeah, you didn't know the colors. No. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, um, and basically, so basically, she's more like a, a rogue assassin and is also the, um, how would you, how would you call her? Companion? Call her? A like, companion, a consort. Side piece. I guess. <laughs> side piece. <laughs> right. Um, basically, she helps Damon on his uh, adventures. Um, you know, she she doesn't put, you know, I guess, what would you say? She doesn't really uh, deal with his nonsense. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. our character himself, he's not a chatty person. Uh, thinks, you know, thinks with his sword. Uh, she's like, mm -hmm. so she's like, what? What you, t you, you need someone there to, ha you know, to help you kill these things. Come on, let's kill them then. You know, she she's okay. just as she's just as ruthless as as him, really. Well, I wouldn't say as ruthless as him because he he does some he does some wild things. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and while whilst he's injured, though, she's like, I, I have to help you at this point because you are injured. <laughs> Right. Um, but yeah, she's, you know, she's his consort. <laughs> I'm going to call her consort. Sure. Um, she can sure. also, uh, because of uh, the way she is as well, because she's an assassin, she can also think differently during fighting. Oh, you know, so awesome. how to handle things. All right. Uh, Ryu, welcome, Ryu. He says women are, are always more ruthless. <laughs> and different ways, I think. Yeah. Yeah, different ways. Uh, welcome, Pale Rider. He said, I thought this was a drinky stream. Yes, yeah, sorry, man. It's uh, <laughs> you see my lovely coffee. I have, I have cup of tea. <laughs> yeah, not really a drink stream. No, no. Um, all right, all right, cool. So, so did you also do the colors, uh, Jacob? Yeah, yeah, I basically do pencils, inks, colors, lettering. That's that's. I'm, I'm did, one man. From I did do the flats on two issues. <laughs> not, not these, not these that's issues, a, and that's a uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a that's that's you know writing and two issues are flatting as well. Is what I can claim. Right. Sh Shabby can claim the rest. <laughs> right. So, so so do you do you uh, pickles? Do you ever need to um, um, describe things uh, for Jacob how you want? It's, it's usually it's usually drawn. typed down, um, but if he doesn't understand the, the description, we get mm -hmm. you know we just you know we go on Discord or whatever and just chat about it. Right. Uh, so okay. if so, we talk about angles a lot as well, um, basically of how we would like it to be seen. You know, if mm -hmm. it, if it should if we should be looking down at them, should there be a side shot kind of thing? I usually do put that in the. In the script, but um, sometimes Jakob might have a different idea of handling that kind of scene right. in each in each panel. So right. we do we do test it out. <laughs> so you basically discuss every page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So oh, wow. whenever I like pencil a page, I send it to Pickles. You know, I send him all the thumbnails, uh, just kind of to get his feedback. Uh, he usually just likes it you know and that's kind of like <laughs> the go ahead for me to do the next step mm -hmm. uh, but sometimes i will, sometimes I will I tell him <laughs> <laughs> I, I will tell yeah. him sometimes if i think some of, if i if a different angle should be used and stuff like that i, I never I get like um, whoa that's amazing <laughs> that, that's well, um, very rare <laughs> if I, I i don't want him to leave me so i have to keep him down <laughs> uh, yeah 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 <laughs> So, so Jacob, did you ever need to needed to uh, to change things that that you oh, yeah. sketched? Oh. And it was like, yeah. no, I wanted it to be different, and you were like, oh, damn it! <laughs> so, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, oh. I get my way usually, because okay. uh, I I think uh, sometimes I'm like, okay, I see what you're trying to tell with this scene. Mm -hmm. Here's how I'm gonna do it way better, so it looks actually awesome, <laughs> right? Right. Uh, but oh, he's very, he's very purpose, at me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the purpose and kind of like what's what's going on it stays the same. I, I just kind of change the angles, you know, change sure. like. We do. Of, um, um, 
Yeah, Sorry, I'm interrupting, but I was saying that like, we do have some other people that look through it as well. Um, yeah, you know, a couple of friends, you know, they they look through it and give us their opinion as well. So it's not just the biasness of me and Shabu. <laughs> right, but that's that's in in the in the sketch stage, in the layout yes. stage, right? Usually, yes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Nice. Um, it, it's kind of very rare to get to a fully colored page, and then we have to sort of change something. That that usually doesn't happen. Right. Yes. Yes. Right. Nice. This some kind of. Um, <laughs> I know flashbacks from sequences it's from his the, um, life. This is what would. This is basically a possible futures of our character. Oh, all right. So, yeah. the 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 one with the uh, with the with the purple eyes on the left destroying the world is what we call the Abyss Lord. Um, oh. And what I what I would gather from that is that Damon would become an agent of that character. That would be one possible future. One possible feature at the top is that he has a family and also what looks to be like a more veteran Damon, maybe a leader in an army. On the right, we see Damon on the throne. You know, we could have a King Damon there. Bottom right, you know, he's back in, he's, you know, he's in a Coliseum to see him fighting, which is what he's uh, used to doing. You know, right. these are all possible futures that we could possibly do in volume two onwards if we wanted to. Uh -huh. It's just a it's a it's a tease of what you know what we could do basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And this character, I I I I happened to notice um, Jacob. Is this character a little bit of a self insert? He <laughs> <laughs> uh, gets this. Yeah, he, he gets asked this every time. It's so see. funny. You don't you don't actually see pickles, but he looks exactly like me as well. Really? <laughs> yeah. So you both put yourself as the main character. No, <laughs> no, no. To be to be fair with me, maybe, but I, I'll tell you what, the the character actually had beard before me. I think I uh, I started yeah, drawing like with five skinny, years uh, ago. Skinny there as well. <laughs> yeah, I I kind of change myself into the character, which is scary. Yeah. If you he, ask he, me. He, drew, he drew a picture <laughs> and went, I want to be that. <laughs> yeah. So but if if anything, Shabby be... is, is an insert right. of that character in, in the real world. <laughs> yeah. But to be honest with you, why the character actually looks like this, it's pretty funny. Again, this whole thing came from me trying to learn how to draw. And I was like, okay, so who are the big, big characters, right? Superman, mm -hmm. Batman, you know, tall white guy, black hair. And I really sucked at drawing hair, like at all, you know? Mm, so to right. practice, I was like, I'm going to give this character beard. So I have to actually force myself to draw, you know, both beard and hair on each mm -hmm. page. And now, now I'm very good at it. Uh, but yeah, so that was kind of like the reasoning behind him looking that way. And Lo and behold, I, I kind of turned into him as well, which is, again, <laughs> yeah. scary reality. <laughs> well, you yeah, become what the, you love, man. He has the sword at his house as well. He made a sword. I do. Hold on, I'll show it. <laughs> we have a sword? Oh, dude. Oh, that is awesome. It's the, it's the sword that he has in the book. <laughs> Holy shit, wait. Look at that. Wow, that is awesome. So, so you can cosplay your own character. Absolutely. Holy shit. You know? What is that made of? Uh, it's it's like foam, you know? It's right. pretty light. Damn. Yeah. Oh, look at that in the background, I think. That is awesome. Sure. I, think, I think that's Tyler for me. Oh, yeah. fantastic. Fantastic. So, so the book is called big boy. Fast Rewater. <laughs> Right, so so maybe I missed it, and you told me. Um, but what is Vestry? Is that one of the characters, or what is it? Yeah, so Vestry is originally it's uh, this giant who from northern mythology, and mm -hmm. the whole reason is I thought it sounded cool, and it wasn't like <laughs> uh, a name that's used at all, right? So. Right. 
that that's basically why it became the name. I, I was kind of heavily into Nordic mythology at the time. I was like, oh, Vesprey, that sounds kind of cool. And it's like these four giants who fell from an armpit of a god. And like each of the giants represent, you know, like north, south, east, and obviously west. And that's did you say? Did you say they fell from God's armpit? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Not that the mythology is weird, dude. <laughs> like... <laughs> All right. By the way, I, I love this art, man. Who made this? Oh, yeah. That is Matthew so, Weldon. Matt, yeah. Matt I, I, Matt wanted to, I, I wanted to cut straight to the chase with that one. <laughs> yeah, if people we were... aren't aware of Matthew Weldon, he does the art for um, Soul Finder. Yeah, uh, and he, I think he's he, he did he's uh, he does Punchline. He, he does a bunch. Um, I think he does he a lot of stuff. Monster Hunt too. Yeah, he's he's like we, we got very lucky for him to do co covers, and he did actually for each issue a cover, so you can get. Uh, a collection of his covers for each issue, uh, oh, which wow. is really cool. He's he's an amazing artist. We're very yeah. lucky to get him. Okay, uh, he's a very nice guy as well. <laughs> no, yeah, he's yeah, he's a lovely fellow. There's also brilliant cover. Yeah. Who's the artist here? It, it's all Matthew. Well, well done. Done again. All yeah. Matthew. Oh, okay, That's all him. okay, cool. Great man. So, so this this is an, another question you get a lot. But who's the babe, the pink babe? <laughs> that's that's the elven princess. That's kind of like she's called L. 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 She's called L. Yeah. Yes. Right. Okay. So so. <laughs> okay. Usually, people start to to talk a little bit about the character but this one needs to stay mysterious <laughs> no right. they, uh, <laughs> i thought i said we was going to jump in to be fair right right she's the da she's the daughter of the main villain arius um right i i, can, I guess i can should i spoil what would it be issued to or whatever um basically yeah. whilst the humans were invading arius was trying to open up this portal that he's trying to do again in, in issue five mm -hmm. and in doing so because in the law, uh, the king and his daughter, that that lineage is as a closer connection, bloodline wise, to their god. Uh, so he takes her soul and fuses it with this crystal to create the the portal. Um, the humans come in, stop the ritual as it was happening. A big explosion. This giant crystal shatters. And, uh, and basically, her soul was uh, left in the fragment of a crystal. And that's when our hero comes along and finds her. When he, when he, he, when he finds it, grabs it, it just releases her from, from the crystal after that. And that's when uh, she can give him his powers. She's kind of like stuck between two worlds, you know, yeah. right. because the ritual got uh, interrupted in, yeah. in, in, in the middle. So whilst her, her body got destroyed and sent on, you know, different world, her soul kind of lingers between. Yes. And that's actually why she can uh, give magic to the main character because she's kind of like this con conductor or what was that? Right. like a beacon for yes. magical powers. Right? She's been soaking it in. For a while, <clears throat> and now that she has physical body within this world, by connecting mm -hmm. with him, they can unleash mayhem. Right? Can she also return to the crystal? Yes. 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 She can do if she wants to. She can. She can choose to actually leave Damon's body if she wants to and not help him, which she does. She does a couple of times because. Oh wait, she, if, um... she possesses his body. Yes. Basically, she she enters okay. his body, and that allows him to access her like her abilities, basically. Oh, um, okay. But she can leave his body, and then he would be powerless after that. Because our she, our character L, she you know she doesn't want to kill, you know, intelligent you know species like humans. Mm. Elves. She she won't want to kill him. So if she feels Damon's gonna kill a, a human or whatever. With her powers, she would just leave his body. 
because uh, she doesn't want to kill. Right. Okay. Right. So that's a big problem for him, right? In in the midst oh, yeah. of battle. It definitely is. <laughs> yeah. So, so he, he gets. Yeah. He gets. Uh, you could say he gets slapped around a lot. <laughs> right. So so what what exactly are the powers that he gets? It's basically that's um... interesting. So. <laughs> Okay, you can answer it then. It's pretty simple, but essentially uh, the powers are very vast, but uh, because he's kind of a brutish character, uh, mm -hmm. he doesn't have the imagination and the scope of what he could possibly do. And he's kind okay. of like adjusted to punching things. So he basically uses uh, the magic to enhance his body even further, and he punches real hard uh, when it comes to right. It. Right, it, but it we actually, enhances what's already there. Yes, yeah. and okay. we actually seen the crystal uh, being held by someone else uh, by his uh, by his uh, companion Medea, and she uses the crystal in a different way. So instead of kind of like charging up her body, she uses the crystal to kind of uh, shoot shoot uh, stuff from her sword, you know, in a different way. So basically every person could use it a little bit differently. Right. If, if it came to that. But yeah, he's, he's kind of a brute, so he's using it in a very brutish way. It kind of it suits their class kind of thing. <laughs> right. This does mean that Al that also possesses her some, sometimes. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was right. an issue for you if people wanted to know that. <laughs> right. Okay, great. That's excellent. So uh, she's always with them. Can uh, can they also hear her when well, if you possess the crystal and then you yeah. can see and talk to her basically. So sure. sometimes when Damon's talking, like the other characters are like, what is he what what? <laughs> like like what's he talking to? Because they can't see or hear. <clears throat> Yeah, this is a fun concept, man. Because I, uh, I was looking through the through the pages, through the comic book, and suddenly in these panels I saw her, and I was like, okay, she's new, but she's not really new because she's always with them. Yeah, yeah right. She's ever present right. throughout yes. the series. Oh, not a cool cover, man. I think that's awesome. the only one that doesn't have her on there, but technically she's in him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow, fantastic! Beautiful work, guys. So I saw uh, Anvil, Anvil Comics was was in the chat. Is that someone else? <laughs> that's, one that's, of you guys? That's, that's Shabby. That was me. That was me. Oh, that was you. Okay, okay. I was lurking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Beautiful art. Yeah, man. Yeah, but well, well done, cool, uh, <laughs> This is number five. Number. All right. So, so, so Matthew does all the covers for all yep. the... Yes, he, yeah, he yeah. did issues. every single issue. Well, the, the comic cover, um, beautiful. This is a bit of our ash can as well, <laughs> right? Because every, every book that we do in each campaign, we we do a, an ash can with it. So you're not just buying a book; you're also buying a ten-page ash can as well. We well, get that with it. Yeah. yeah. Yes. All right. Cool. No additional cost. That's excellent. That's but as if if we reach a stretch goal, it depends if we do. We also include another ash can that we've yeah. that I've wrote that Shabby just needs to draw basically. All right, Mike says it's a good looking series. Oh, thank you, oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. He's right. He's got uh, them guys. Right. <laughs> guys, uh, the link to this campaign is pinned in the chat. It's also in the description of the video. Please go check it out. They're almost at their at their uh, funding uh, goal. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Look at this. You you get to to draw some horses, Jacob. That's very <laughs> difficult, right? I actually like horses. Yeah. 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 I hate cars. That's that's like I'm okay. really glad we're in fantasy because I hate cars. Yeah, this is so why there are no cars are in right. this universe. <laughs> Not <laughs> yet. <laughs> right. Okay, cool. So so you can see here that he's very tall, right? In comparison yeah. to the horse. Oh, he's a he's a behemoth. He's a what would you say? What would you say his height would be? Should be like eight foot, something like that. 
He's a like, very I think tall seven, man. seven something. Yeah. Right. He'd Great, be really man. tall. Excellent stuff. So, so these are some uh, some things that you can collect, right? The full yeah, series. Exactly. You get the complete yes. series. These are all single issues, right? It's not one book. Yes. Either. yes single issues. Single. Yeah, because issue five is our last one. We thought we would include all the other issues as well. Mm -hmm. Just so you can catch up on right. the series, you know, read it all. If you're a new new person, you know, who never seen us, you know, or our book, uh, this is the perfect point to jump in and read it all. Right. Yes. All right. Great. Fantastic, man. Let's see. Uh, let's see your 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 tears here. Your perks. What you got? Uh, you get the the PDF for just uh, ten bucks. Yep. Yeah. Uh, 56 oh. pages plus a 10 page ash can. Uh, yeah. for oh, you get the ash can also, yeah. Yep, oh, yeah. perfect. Important to mention this is a 56 page uh book, you know, the last issue is oversized, so you get right. almost three issues worth of readman material. Oh, this last issue is actually bigger than the previous ones, yeah. Yes, usually our, our other issues are in the mid 20s. Um, but oh, this okay. one, because it's the finale, is a 56 right. pager. <laughs> wow, wow, okay. So, you could get the PDF, guys, if you just want to, to support Jacob and uh, and Pickles, <laughs> then you can uh, select the PDF. Uh, yeah, great stuff. Um, and then yeah. you have the digital bundle, even, you yeah, can get which, all the, yeah, all the books. All, yeah. yeah, all the books and the ash yeah. can. Over 150 pages of story, you know, for 25 bucks. Wow, you were Great busy, deal, man. if you ask me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I you, spent three you... years drawing this book, so you know. Yeah, yeah. Looking back, can you can you imagine that you that you accomplished this, man? So much work. No, no. <laughs> I thought <laughs> I thought I'm, I was gonna stop like by the second issue, you know. But <laughs> really, yeah, yeah. This is. Oh. So just what, straight up tenacity. <laughs> that, so that what? Was what was it? What was it? Uh, the part that made you think, "I want to stop." What? What was it? Was it the work? Or was it the crowdfunding? Or what was it? It, it was definitely the crowdfund. We've been getting mm. very little numbers. It's sad to say, but yeah. our first issue was our most backed issue. Okay. You know? So that's right. and that sucks. Especially because yeah. I think the book got so much better with each issue on, but uh -huh. yeah, we we've just uh, haven't been able to crack uh, hundred backers again, you know, when it came to when it came to our stuff. So ho hopefully this one can do it. You know, I I would love love for it to actually crack a hundred again. That'd be awesome. Yeah, usually with with uh, with with comics that you buy in the store, it's kind of normal that the first issue sells the most copies right but with with yeah. with crowdfunding oftentimes it's it's the other way around because yeah. you, you, you gather so. more uh, because you gather more followers your audience grows right yeah mm -hmm. but uh, no worries man you can get there people can still pick this up people just need to discover this series and now that yeah. the series is completely done you don't have have to worry that it will never be finished it is finished it's here exactly yeah Exactly. All right. You can get uh, for twenty-five bucks. You can get a, a copy of Fessy number five plus the PDF. So you get the digital also. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so all you need to do now is print. It's it's completely done. Absolutely. I'm just tinkering with colors. Uh, that's kind mm -hmm. of needs to be taken care of. But all fifty-six pages are, you know, penciled, inked, just right. just kind of like playing with the colors a bit. But yeah, shoot, it's it's ready, dude. <coughs> That's all right, stuff. all right. The variants um, are also available. Great, a lot of things to choose from. <coughs> the complete series you have the complete series for fifty bucks. Yeah, That's great. I see you only shipped to the United States. Oh yeah, that that, so, that it was a, a bit of a you know hard hard thing for <laughs> us, especially you know being European as well. But the mm -hmm. logistics of that are insane, actually. So, 
So, but Beautiful. but you're yeah. but you're in Europe, and uh, my pickles is from Britain. So, yeah. why do you all do you only ship to the United States? I tell you why. It's more easier for you to to ship to to Europe and the UK, right? Yeah. So uh, it would be problem is with the uh, European printers. Uh, I scouted and to get to the lower lowest cost, I would mm -hmm. have to print out 200 issues. And we okay. simply don't have the backer numbers to do that, right? <laughs> in Europe. All right. I'd love to do that, you know, but uh, the book would have to kind of like pick up a pace for me to do it. If, if that would would be to happen, sure. I, I'd straight up do it and ship ship those books, no problem sure. myself. Do you also visit uh, conventions? Do you have stands at, at conventions? Uh, no, no, not yet. No. Okay. I, I'd love to, you know, but again, it's it's kind of hard financially <laughs> to do so so far. Right. Right. Okay. Sure. Yeah. It's it's uh, it's tough, man. Uh, no one gets into comics to make money. It's uh, <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> it's hard it's work for little payoff. Oftentimes, um, if you get lucky, some people do get lucky. You have to have this hit, you know, it mm. can happen, but yeah, usually it's, it's a struggle, man. Oh, sorry. I was away for a minute there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> welcome back, sir. The art tier. What do you get for the art tier? Right. For the art tier, uh, you're going to get a little, little piece of paper with your book. Oh, uh, and great. I should have one here. Hold on. So get a piece of paper, guys. <laughs> Check it out. You'll get uh, th this. Oh, there's something and on. You can get okay. anything you want. I'll draw for you, right? So it's like a commission thing. A commission. Statement. Okay, great. Uh, this is this is just pencils, but I'm I'm gonna ink it. I'm gonna color it, watercolor, uh, and that will be sent to whoever gets that tier. So if oh, you wow. if you like yeah. my art enough and you want some originals, this this is the thing to do. But it it's comes it's a little the... bit smaller than a comic book, right? So this is kind of like compared to a book. Right. That's the size. But it, yeah, it comes with the comic. It comes with the ash can. We are doing these uh, keychains as well. Yeah. So if you if you back from hundred dollars upwards, mm -hmm. so the Weldon cover, <laughs> the Weldon cover series, and the art here, we'll send the like this leather keychain. Of the Anvil Comics logo on it. In fact, Shabby himself is a uh, is doing. <laughs> yeah. All right, <clears throat> all right, excellent. Uh, this this was the highest the highest tier right now because the rest is gone. Whatever you had here is gone. Oh, that was the early bird special. Early bird, we, right. we we had a little discount on discount. for the first ten backers. Yes. Okay, great. Uh, let's see, guys. Uh, you are at thirty six backers. Uh, I don't know. Does this thing refresh itself? Mm -hmm. We're still at 36. Guys, uh, check out this campaign. Um, it's in the description of the uh, video. It's pinned in the chat. Please go check it out. Tell everyone about Vestry. It's a cool-looking comic. It's, it's completely done. Five issues completely done, guys. You can get the complete series in one purchase. So, yeah. Um... Hey. Marvi says, I did my first print with Mixum US and I used Critical Blast for fulfillment. Great deal, very professional. See how your campaign goes and you'll have a very good service. I think we've I think we've done Mixum before. We did Mixum, yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. They are, yeah. They are pretty good. They're really pretty good. Yeah. Um, and uh, I think the, the paper quality is pretty good as well at Mixum. You don't really get that with uh, overseas printers. Uh, I guess we should clarify for all our comics are printed in, in America, basically. In US, yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay, so you print over there. So 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 how do we you do a, um, a quality control? Well, we have our own, um, what would you call it? I always forget the name. Like, we, we have someone that does fulfillment for distributor. us. Kind of like distributor. Um, oh, okay. Have you ever heard of a, a creator called Eric Harkins? He did Zombie Full World of Oz. No. Um, he, he's a comic creator. That's, he's quite well res respected in our, in our little comic corner. And he basically helps us along along the All way right. in, in this process. Right. Uh, and he basically 
he, he's the yeah, guy we go to. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Great, great. Yeah, man, you need you need help. Uh, we all need need help to make it work, to make these books happen, right? And, and to so so guys, just share it, talk about it. Uh, please do. Um, and while you're at it, please also visit American Bliss uh, Father's Pride, which is now on Kickstarter. Uh, we're doing great. We launched uh, two days ago. We're doing good. Um, so check it out, guys. Um, I have some things planned, which will be Kickstarter exclusive. I hope uh, I can show you guys soon. Anyway, uh, please share this. And uh, okay, that's it for for the show, guys. So uh, thank you so much, uh, oh, Jacob. It was take an honor. for being my guests. <laughs> yeah, it's always well, a pleasure to be invited yeah. onto these shows. Yeah, thank you for having yeah. us. We are we genuinely appreciate it. So what's we what's the I'm next struggle. plan for you guys? Are you going to make another book together? I would I would love to do another book. I I, <laughs> I keep pressure pressuring Shabby on these. Um, yeah. Basically, I, I have um let's say I have quite a few comic concepts that I've been scripting, and I want Shabby mm -hmm. to draw one of them, but. You know he needs his he needs his money and you know he he wants i guess he would like to do some commissions um sure. we would we would love to come back and do a, a volume two of vestry that's always on the cards to see how this goes mm -hmm. um and basically you know like i said i've got different concepts you know so you've not no one's seen the last of me anyway <laughs> great excellent excellent Okay, guys, if people want to follow you, uh, Jacob, where can people find you? Absolutely. Uh, I'm most active on Twitter, at ShabbyJ. You can see it over here. It's, mm -hmm. it's spelled just like that. Uh, yeah. I'd love to see you there. You know, shoot me a DM if you, if you have some questions. I'd uh, love, to, love to talk vestry, you know. Love and you to do talk commissions, candidate. right? Go in. I do commissions. Uh, yes. Yeah, love, love to have you. I'm, I'm, I'm available, baby. Let's, let's go. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, my pickers. Do you want people to follow you? Um, you can find me on Twitter. <laughs> at, you know, this might be a bit confusing, but it's English underscore but nachos. Uh, in fact, you can find me on Twitter, but it would, it would just come up as a display of my pickles. Sure. Uh, that's where I also like Jakob. I'm the most active on there. Mm -hmm. Um. I do, I do answer my DMs sometimes, so don't worry <laughs> if you want to have right. a chat. Um, yeah, just have a follow, say hi, I'll say bye. I'll say hi most of the time. <laughs> sure, sure, man. Okay, uh, Marv, Marv says, best of luck to you all and see you on the next one. Yes, and the next one will be uh, next Sunday, my regular time. Um, same channel same time uh new guest maybe two guests i don't know <laughs> anyway uh thank you all for uh for watching guys for watching uh thank you so much please give it a like subscribe if you haven't already and i hope to see you guys on the next show bye bye guys bye bye cheerio America has a new hero, and she kicks butt. Join American Bliss in her exciting first issue as she finds her way as the new champion of freedom.